so simple. Valley Cooks and today I'm going to make me a crab salad. I'm going to go ahead and put it in some tart shells and show you how you can make it pretty for the holidays and let it be an appetizer. Of course I'm using the imitation crab meat so that it's more affordable for all of us and it's still going to taste really good. So I'm going to be using, I'm just, I'm just pulling this out of my head and, and throwing this together with what I have in the kitchen already. Um, so we're going to be using a pack of crab meat. It's imitation crab meat, and I believe it is an eight ounce package. I've got some mayonnaise we're going to use. I've got some uh, feta cheese. Uh, I don't know for sure if I'm going to use that or not. I'm going to taste it with a little bit before I add it to make sure I like it. I've got a little bit of lemon and a little parsley to make it pretty. Now you don't have to have the parsley. And one other thing I thought of, I thought, you know, how can I make this really pretty and, um, and, and look pretty on the Christmas table? And I got to thinking, you know, I have cranberries left over from Thanksgiving, and I'm going to chop these up really small with my chopper and put them in it, and it'll bring some red into it. It'll just make it really pretty. Um, I've also got phyllo shells, okay? You can get these in the freezer section, phyllo shells. And um, and these come in the frozen section, and they're phyllo dough, which is really crunchy. And I'm going to place this crab meat in this phyllo, and that's how it's going to be served. Now, I'm going to go ahead, um, and I'm going to take these phyllo shells. There are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 in a, in a tray, all right? And they're not real expensive, and it sure is easier than having to shape them yourself. And we're going to warm these just a hair, just a little bit. I'm going to stick them in my air fryer now. They like to blow around in this thing because it does use air. Uh, but I'm going to place them in here. And right before we serve these, I'm going to turn the air fryer on. And I'm only going to have it on about two minutes at 350, just enough to, to get them good and crunchy. Now, I've got some garlic. Olive Garden, garlic and Romano, and see this has already got the cheese flavor in it. Um, so I really don't have to add the cheese to the salad if I use this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these in a Ziploc bag, and I'm just going to put, I guess that's about a cup, about half the bag. This is a five ounce bag, and we're going to chop these up, or or smash them more quick, and then I'll bring y'all up close, and we're going to throw this together. The first thing I'm going to blend is my mayonnaise, and I really don't know how much mayonnaise I want to use for sure, but we'll just start off with a quarter cup. You can use a low-fat mayonnaise if you want to. So we'll just start out with a quarter cup, and hopefully that's going to work. We're going to throw our little cranberries in here. We're going to chop them. I just thought this would be neat. It'll, it'll, it'll be a, add a little texture to it, and it'll also add some color. There we have it. You know, we could add a little onion to it. It wouldn't hurt, would it? I don't want it to overpower the crab meat. You gotta be real careful um, for the flavor. Uh, I might just add a tiny bit of onion. All right, so I'm just gonna chop this up a little bit and throw it in here. All right, that's good. So we're gonna get the onion in there. You just wanna put a little bit in there just for the a little bit of Fresh onion flavor. If you've got green onion, you can use green onion, but I didn't have any. Um, let's go ahead and add our croutons. 
And I guess I could measure these for y'all. I'm thinking it's going to be about a half cup. It's a little over a half cup. A heaping half cup. How's that? And then I'm going to mix this up. Then we're going to chop up our crab meat. It's probably going to take more mayonnaise. I'm just making this on the fly. I'm not going by a recipe, y'all. You know, like Mama always did. Just get in the kitchen and make some. That's how I like to cook. There goes my bird singing. So now that's a half cup. And most of the recipes I saw called for a half cup of mayonnaise. All right, now what I'm going to do is put in some black pepper. And let's chop up a little bit of this parsley. We'll use it in just a second on the top. All right, so we got that. And now we're going to take our crab meat and mix it in there. And I'm thinking I'm going to have to chop it a little bit. Those are a little bit big for my little tarts. So I'm going to chop it up just a little bit. And this is imitation crab. And look, if you can afford the real thing, you go right ahead and get you some. And, and some people can't afford it. It's about $20 for a can of crab meat. Or you can go, if you're next to the shore, you can go try to catch some. Slice a lemon. Squeeze it in there. Just about half of it's all you need. Now we're going to mix this up. This is not the easiest thing to mix with. It don't make a lot of noise and clean, giddy plain for y'all to listen to. But it's kind of small. Now, it's not a lot of people would want to put more mayonnaise on it, but look, y'all, I don't want to um, put too much mayonnaise in it. I'm going to taste it, and then once I taste it, we're going to decide if I want to add a little cheese to it or not. And remember, uh, and while I'm doing this, while we're doing this, I could put those shells in the air fryer. Oh my goodness, that's good. Woo, that's good. Let me put these in the air fryer. Y'all, that is really good. I don't think it needs another thing. I really don't. That's the great thing about using these uh, croutons. And you can pick any flavor you want. It's according to what profile you want to go with. But you have the cheese in there. You have the garlic in there. We've got that onion chopped up. Uh, the cranberry, just to give it a pretty red color, because you know the crab meat's a little pink. Um, a little black pepper and that lemon juice just really sets it off, y'all. Um, and this is going to be pretty on the table. I'm going to show you how pretty it can be. Let me pick up some of my mess, and as soon as those are in there, it only takes a couple of minutes for uh, like nachos, tortilla chips. Or like something like that to get crunchy in the air fryer. If your family is anything like my family, we cook a ton for Thanksgiving. But at Christmas, we do appetizers and finger foods. This is going to be perfect for that. You see how fast I made that? And it's going to taste like a million bucks. Much better than those frozen ones that are already made that you get and you pop in the oven for a few minutes. Uh, this is fresh tasting and so good. Get you a pretty little tray. 
And you can put something in the center of it to dress it up a little. And this is a salt and pepper shaker set that goes with my mom's dishes. It's a pine cone. So you could just put this in the middle just to kind of dress up your plate. Get your little shells out. I got a few little extras, not many. Look, I got one just for me to taste. But this is actually going to be my lunch. So I'm going to eat a lot of them. <laughs> While y'all are not looking. I had gotten out the cheese, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I may make a watermelon feta salad thing. Um, appetizer out of it instead. Um, we're going to take something and stuff these right quick. So you might want to put a, a nice piece of crab on the top of each one. And these are little delicate things, so try not to smash them too much when you're filling them. And now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let y'all stay on here and watch me stuff every single one of them. So then after you do that, you can take a little bit of your parsley, whatever you got in the refrigerator, um, and and just put a little green on the top. Don't that look Christmassy? It does to me. If you don't have anything that's green, um, I mean, you could about use anything. Even dried herbs would work. That's how they look. They're pretty. Now, I'm going to eat one and show you how crunchy they are. They're delicious. Love this phyllo dough. And you can put it all in your mouth at one time. But I think I'll bite it in half. So simple. Alright, I'm going to show it to y'all up close. I'm giving y'all a hug. It's what it looks like down there. That was a quick and simple video, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed it. And you come back and see us at Colored Valley Cooks. Where we cook, like Mama did. Y'all, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with something new. All right? Love ya. Bye.